All right, my friends, I want to talk to you again about speaker cables, what to look for in speaker cables. So regular zip cord, this is the kind of stuff you buy at Home Depot. It's called twin feeder. It's just basically two conductors, you know, in parallel together. This is a 10 gauge cable, so it has very low resistance. The most important metric in speaker cables is low resistance. And you want to make sure the connectors have good terminations on them, like bananas, something that makes a good contact with your speaker and your amplifier. But when you're looking at the cable, you want to make sure that the conductors are closely spaced together. I've seen some stupid exotic cables where they don't have them like that. They literally have the conductors, the plus and minuses, separated completely, floating on the floor. When you do that, you greatly increase the loop area and the inductance, and it's not a good design. So any speaker cables where the conductors aren't close together, at least like this, stay away from those. But I wanted to show you some other alternatives. This is my favorite standard zip cord cable. This is CL2 approved, so it goes behind drywall. This is a Belden 1313A. Blue Jeans Cable sells it. It's 10 gauge. It has a really high strand count. You could see all the strands in here. The advantage of having a high strand count is it makes it more flexible. It helps reduce skinning effect because it actually does have Litz-like behavior, even though they're not individually ice insulated even at audio frequencies. So I really like this cable as 10 gauge if you're going behind drywall or just using it in your regular system. Now, if you're into the exotic cables, you're gonna find cables that are braided like this Kimber 12 TC. There's advantages to braiding a cable by having all these multiple strands of cable interwoven together like this. It keeps the conductor spacing really close so the magnetic fields cancel each other out. The mutual inductance goes down. And because you have multiple parallel cables like this, the inductance, the self-inductance goes down as well. The trade-off is you get higher capacitance, but you get a cable that has really low resistance, really, really low inductance, lower than regular zip cord. And it measures great. I've done a lot of measurements on cables like this. So if you're looking for something exotic that's not crazy, Look for a braided cable such as this. I like the compression banana plugs that Kimber uses. So when you press them in and you screw them tight, it really makes a lock and connected and it lowers contact resistance. So guys, if you found this video useful, please hit the thumb up, hit subscribe. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.